Governor Greg Abbott of Texas, he is claiming that Joe Biden used the immigrants, illegal immigrants, as political pawns. So you've got a big back and forth going on right now between Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, and then you've got Governor Greg Abbott from Texas. He's shipping hundreds of thousands of illegals to New York City. And then you've got Biden doing who knows what, saying who knows what about what. Let's get into it. Here we go. Got I'm to start going to on offer him a career. stay in one of the Hercs so he can see what he has created and understand how we are treating people with the dignity and respect that he should have shown as well. When we coordinate together, we should not displace problems to local municipalities. That is not what executives do. And it's unfortunate that he made the decision to do. He's talking about uh, Abbott spending a night in a migrant shelter. I mean, what an idiot. All right. That is the mayor's side of the story. Joining us now from Austin is Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Governor, very good to have you with us. Um, the event that I mentioned in New York City was a big GOP fundraiser. I'd like to begin with you by playing a piece of sound of you speaking at that event. This is good. We made clear by contacting his office and said, we're not sending them to New York. That's Joe Biden sending them to New York. But the criticism kept coming, kept coming, kept coming, despite our denial. So after a while, I figured, gosh, if I'm going to get the criticism, I'm going to get the credit. And thus began the busing (laughs) of illegal immigrants to the sanctuary city of New York City. Governor, welcome. Um, you know, that comment and the actions that you have taken, which, you know, really changed the game in so many ways with regard to how the rest of the country views immigration. But the mayor said that because of comments like that, you're morally bankrupt and that you're using these individuals as political pawns. What do you say to that, sir? So the, the person who's actually using uh, illegal immigrants as political pawns is Joe Biden. Uh, Joe Biden has uh, created this open border policy that has allowed illegal immigrants into our country uh, to uh, appeal to and to appease uh, the far leftists uh, in the Democrat Party, the people like uh, Ocasio-Cortez and hopes of trying to win their support, uh, while at the same time destroying the country that he's in charge of. He is uh, the commander in chief in charge of national security for our country. Our country is being invaded in ways that uh, put our country at risk because of the political games that Joe Biden has played. And Mayor Adams is uh, just aiding and abetting that uh, by having a sanctuary city status, welcoming in anybody from across the world to uh, live there or stay there uh, in New York City uh, on the bill uh, of New York City. Uh, And what Mayor Adams needs to do, uh, he needs to stop talking boldly about uh, illegal immigration and the migrants that Texas is sending there. And he needs needs to step up and do his own job because look at the dangers in New York City under his watch. You have a police officer who is killed. Uh, You have uh, the the, uh, train system in New York, which is treacherous uh, for travelers. Uh, You got uh, police officers attacked in uh, Times Square by illegal immigrants. He needs to step up and do his job uh, as mayor and protect the people of his community uh, as opposed to gimmicks uh, about what's going on on the border. Well, the polling clearly shows that um, people are... Just the way Abbott talks. I mean, he's just, he's so straightforward that, I mean, whether you want to believe him or not, it's it's hard to get around what he says. and. You know, when you see Eric Adams, he's like, ah, Greg Abbott is, you know, he's doing this as a political stunt. Well, who's, who's basically dictating from, you know, the very top that these illegals are supposed to be coming into the country? We know who that is, the current administration, right? So, how, you know, how do you get around that? I mean, that's where it starts. Greg Abbott wouldn't be sending people to New York if the border was secured, period, right? Just period. So when Eric Adams, you know, starts starts talking about this nonsense, remember how long, not too long ago, he was like, "This is gonna destroy the city. It's gonna tear the city apart." And now he's like, "Oh, why don't you come stay in one of our 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 shelters?" Why? I mean, he's got shelters in Texas as well. I mean, same thing there. 
when, when you bring in millions of people into the country, when that's your MO, they got to go somewhere. And so many of them are saying, I want to go to New York. So, you know, what Texas is doing to me is just genius, especially considering how little money they have spent. There's all these articles about, oh, they've spent 120 million. They've spent 148 million. They've spent over 150 million. How much does it cost New York City? I mean, those bus rides are cheap. 150 million, tiny percent of Texas's budget. In New York City, how many billion is it costing them? How many billion, you know, millions is it costing uh, Denver? And then you've got Chicago. Yeah, they've all taken in just thousands because this is the top down. This is what you know, our fearless president, our leader of the free world, let them all in. Let them all in. Isn't this great? Isn't this great? You're just letting people in left and right. I don't buy the fact, though, that this is just to appease those on the left. And then, you know, they don't want borders. They don't want cops. They don't want judges. They don't want judicial system. They don't want borders. They don't want any of this stuff. All right. All right. We can't have all of that. But hey, let's just bring in millions of people and we'll see how it goes. Abbott appeared on Fox News Sunday to discuss his recent visit to New York, which has seen a flood of 157,000 immigrants between 2022 and 2023. That's according to the city's mayor, Eric Adams. The Texas governor made it clear that even though he has transported immigrants from his state to the sanctuary city, his state has only sent a small number of the total immigrants who have arrived. Look at these cities. Look at Denver, just basically on its knees begging for life you know, support because there's no more room at the end and the federal funds have, have gone by the wayside. And you literally last week had one of their top officials within the Mike Johnston administration, the liaison to you know the illegals speaking in Spanish <laughs> and, and, and some English to the illegals in Denver saying, hey, you got to go to New York City. You got to go to Chicago. You can't stay here. Our resources are done. It's going to be far more dangerous for you to stay here. So these sanctuary cities are just, you know, they're absolutely two-faced. That's the bottom line. Uh, they want a virtue signal, but then they don't want to pay the bill. What's up with that? So, And then you got Greg Abbott going, well, I started this off because we had to get them, you know, to somewhere. If you want them to be in the United States, that's fine. They want to go to these big cities because they think they have more opportunity than the border areas of Texas. Then we're going to ship them there. We're going to ship them there. The person who actually is using illegal immigrants as political pawn is Joe Biden, Abbott said. Joe Biden has created this open border policy that has allowed illegal immigrants into our country to appease and appease the far leftists in the Democrat Party. The people like AOC in hopes of trying to win their support while at the same time destroying the country that he is in charge of. Somebody made the comment the other day that why are we putting so much emphasis on all of this trans and LGBTQ plus stuff when it consists of less than 1% of the population? Why aren't we doing what the 99% of the population is interested in supporting? What about those rules? What about those laws? What about those levies? What about that? Ah, no, we got to do all this crazy stuff, this crazy train stuff. Because it's you know politically advantage, you know, advantageous to do that at the moment. Let people in to the country. That's advantageous, right? Don't put up the wall. Don't put up the wall. Crazy times. New York has received over 40,600 immigrants transported from Texas since August of 2022. A bunch of those will leave, but a vast majority won't. So it, it's kind of like the, the meeting, or not, not the meeting, it was an informal meeting where the um, Mike Johnston official uh, within that administration is talking to the illegals and is basically saying, you know, he asked them towards the end, hey, how many of you guys want a you know, free bus ticket to go somewhere else? We'll fly you, we'll drive you, we'll do whatever to get you out of here. And they all basically stated, we want to stay. If they've made it to one of these sanctuary cities, that's typically where they want to stay. That's where they want to be. That's the big show, right? It's the big show. So, Meanwhile, Texas takes the brunt of illegal immigration because they're on the border. They're on the border. So you got these knuckleheads up north like Eric Adams. He doesn't know. I mean, if he had to run, if he had to do what Abbott has done, 
He couldn't have. He doesn't have the organizational skills. He doesn't have the pull. He doesn't have the support of the entities. I mean, Greg Abbott has got, he's got like five different military entities, you know, that at his beck and call. And, um, you know, they're working in, you know, they're working towards a common goal, which is we're going to secure the border. The federal government isn't. If Customs and Border Protection isn't going to do that, we're going to step in and we're going to do it. So local law enforcement apprehended more than 506,000 illegal immigrants since the start of Operation Lone Star in March of 2021. And how many people, how many illegals have gone to New York City? 150? And you got 500 going through the southern border? I mean, come on now. Come on now. These folks must know. They must, oh yeah. It's only a fraction of what Abbott's dealing with. He's got to send them all these folks to, you know, all over. Abbott said that the number of immigrants crossing into the state of Texas is on the decline as a result of his policies. 72% illegal immigration through the southern border into Texas is down 72%. Now, what I'm going to say there is some of that, a large portion of that, is because of efforts of Greg Abbott, governor of Texas. But it also has to do, because we know that a large portion of those that would normally have come through Texas, they are now going through New Mexico. They are now going through California. They're now going into San Diego, right? They are now going into Arizona. How about the number of Chinese nationals flying into Tijuana and then taking a $400 Uber from a you know, cartel member and he's dropping them off? You know, some somewhere an hour east of San Diego. What about that? What's going on with that? The number of Chinese, you know, illegals has just skyrocketed. Did a podcast on that yesterday, and the number is just way up. Now, what I would also say is the seventy-two percent that the number of illegals that is seventy-two percent less are coming into Texas now. Some of that has to do with the China, the um, Mexican government is basically stopping the flow south of their northern border, which is our southern border. They are doing that for the moment. Numbers are way, way down. I think the numbers in March were 160,000 at the southern border, something along those lines. I mean, way, way down from even just a few months ago. So some of that has to do with Mexico. Some of that has to do with te- what Texas is doing. But any which way you look at it, pressure is being put away from Texas and the southern border. And it's um, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes because that means, yep, California is going to get it. Yep, Arizona is going to get it. New Mexico to a little bit. And then all these sanctuary cities where the folks are going to fan out to. Um, Greg Abbott talks about uh, the new jobs. Um, Texas is leading the nation in employment, right? Just is. So, you know, while he's bringing down illegal immigration across the southern border into Texas, he is at the same time, from an economic development standpoint, you know, he, he's not going to Vegas. He's not having their meetings in Vegas. He's just getting the work done at home. Not that hard to figure out, right? Job wise, Texas ranks number one for the most new jobs added. So our economy and jobs are growing faster. At the very same time, while illegal immigration into the state of Texas is going down, illegal immigration has gone down 72% because of the resistance we have put up. Those drug smugglers, they only get paid by the cartel. They get their people into the United States and into one of those white vans off to the migrant shelter, then from the migrant shelter to whatever big sanctuary, virtue signaling sanctuary city, you know, they want to go to. So it's gone up in the other border states, illegal immigration gone up quite a bit, quite a bit. So Texas is decreasing illegal immigration while at the very same time adding more jobs and growing our economy faster than the entire country. And I believe the rate at speed at which Texas is growing is literally double the rest of the economy. So say what you want about Abbott, the guy's doing work. That's bottom line, right? That's bottom line. Abbott's policies are being challenged in court by Biden's Department of Justice. The governor expressed his confidence that his immigration laws will withstand these legal challenges. So that is um, Senate Bill 4. So what's happened is it's been enacted, it's been challenged, 
You know, you got the, what is it? It's either the ninth or the fifth circuit court is taking a look at it. It's under review right now. It's been enacted. It's been, you know, put on hold. It's had a stay put on it. It's going through all of these legal processes. And um, what you didn't see in the video that I played for you is later on in the video, the Fox uh, reporter, uh, the whatever you want to call her, was asking him about that. And he had kind of a roundabout answer of, we're going to keep doing what we're doing because if the feds aren't going to protect the southern border, we will. The feds have a, a duty to, a constitutional duty to protect the United States border. And if they're not doing that, we'll step up and we'll jump on in. And that's what Senate Bill 4 basically does. It allows Texas to arrest with their own police uh, powers to arrest and put them in front of judges and deport them and deport them. How about these stories with Trump saying he's going to deport every, there's going to be a massive deportation on day one of his presidency. I could see something like that. I could see him putting something in order like that. I mean, Biden did. He just stopped building the wall throughout like 64 executive actions. He's done everything he can to basically screw up our borders. He's done everything he can. Ah, let that go. Nope, don't do that. Don't build the wall. Oh, gosh, I guess we got to start building the wall again. You know, you've just got so many shenanigans happening. It's wild. Last month, 137,000 illegal immigrants were apprehended at the 2,000-mile southern border. This is in addition to the more than 10 million migrants. We're up at 10 now. We were at 7. This is a conservative number. It's probably more like 11. And then, you know, get into all the, the gotaways, right? 10 million immigrants who have reportedly entered the country illegally since Biden took office. It's the most recorded in that amount of time of any administration. Then we had 40-year lows. We had 40-year lows in the previous administration. That's why it's such stark contrast, right? It's like, what are we even doing? All right, so Greg Abbott basically defending himself. Biden, who knows what he's doing? Eric Adams, ah, we got a lot of immigrants in our city. What are we going to do? Abbott is 100% right. When he's talking about, hey, you got to take care of your own house. I mean, what's up with needing the National Guard in your subway system? We just had that happen, right? And a whole bunch of, you know, Poco, the governor, basically said, the National Guard, go get them into the subway system because it's become so dangerous. So dangerous. You got cops getting beaten up. I mean, it's not a good look. And you know what? When you bring this many people into the city that aren't allowed to work, you know, we don't know anything about them. They haven't been vetted. All of these different things. I mean, literally, you ask yourself, what could go wrong? And that's kind of what we're seeing. So Greg Abbott, he does a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a field trip up to New York City for a Republican fundraiser. And Eric Adams is like, I got him. I've got him. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really show him. But what Eric Adams doesn't think through is that where does this whole situation start? At the border in Texas, of which Greg Abbott is governor. Where do you want these folks? To, you want these folks to just go across the southern border and stay right there? Is that what you think they're going to do? Because if the feds were doing their job, there wouldn't be any coming in like this. There wouldn't be these massive numbers like this. The numbers would be lower like they have been in the past. And they followed the procedure. And instead, the last three and a half years or whatever it is, it's been just bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. Yeah. We'll write their name down a little pad and pad of paper and you know with some pencil so we can erase it later. Oh, that's not who you said you were? Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Jose, what's your middle name there? Fernando? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're just making stuff up here, but it's been that kind of a debacle with those kind of shenanigans, right? Of just let it bring them in and um, we'll give them a court date in 2031. And people question me on that. They're like, oh, the, 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 those, those court dates aren't that far out. They're, they're two to three years out. Where do you think most of these illegals are going to be by that time? Where are they going to be? Not in the city that they have the court date from, right? And they're literally, we've seen evidence of people with, Court dates in 2031. So you've got a whole bunch of stuff kind of in flex right now. You've got that Senate Bill 4. You've got pressure being put on California. You've got pressure being put on the Biden administration for letting all these military-aged 
single men come into California and then get moved around from there? Like, what's up with that? And just the whole concept of the border. You know, we had that $118 billion package that rightfully got shut down because it was a piece of crap and it didn't make any sense. You know, you've got Democrats saying, if you guys were really serious about the border, you would have passed that one. But it had money in it for border protection and all kinds of things. It was a terrible deal. And I'm glad that didn't go through. And that was a try for. That was a try for on Democrats' part to get something through. And guess what? And that wouldn't have been good for the country. It allowed so many to come through. It would have just escalated what the new norm of illegals coming to the country is. And anybody looking at that who saw that said, that's what it is. No go. So, of course, it got you know pushed back. There was just like, yeah, it's dead on arrival in the house, right? That was kind of the big thing. So, you've got a ton of this stuff going on. Meanwhile, we head into the election season, right? And this is a big, huge topic. So, not a lot of new news on the southern border. You had that one El Paso deal where um, you had a couple hundred migrants in Juarez just across the border get pretty worked up and kind of bum rush the the um, the guards that were there, national guards that were there protecting the El Paso border. You had that happen, and you've had you know a few other things go on like that, but there's been no major, real big, you know, showdowns happen in uh, in the last couple of weeks. It's been much of the same. But you've got you've got Greg Abbott here basically stating exactly what he stated all along that this isn't this isn't a Texas problem that Texas is creating. This is a problem from our fearless leader. Let's go, Brandon, and um, not Brandon Johnson. So. Yeah, that's what you've got going on. Thank you so much for watching this video. Love to have you subscribe. Love to have you hit the like button for this video. Do all that good stuff, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, bye for now.